it's important that we measure results and one way to do that is to see an over overview at a glance overview of our efforts and the results of our efforts things like we need to see things like how much a donor has made uh, this year uh, how much a donor has donated this year how how much money we have raised towards uh, as part of a certain campaign and how much money we have raised uh, towards a certain goal uh, these are just like a couple of examples so we have three places where we see information like this at the account level at the donor level uh, we have a, a component that we add at the beginning we're going to look at that in a minute as well the donor gift summary we see things like the donations made by this donor this year last year the number of donations the amount of donations at the campaign level we can see the outreach summary component as well we're going to look at it and this is where we can see uh, information like uh, number of uh, people who are attending this event, uh, number of donations that came as part of this uh, campaign. And we we can also look at uh, every designation to see uh, how much money uh, we have raised towards this uh, designation. And we have a process running in the background that does this calculation. Uh, so what's happening is that every donor is going to have multiple uh, gift transactions. So every donor has multiple gift transactions. We call these a parent and child. Uh, so the donor is the parent and then the children are the gift transactions. So what the data processing uh, engine definition does is that it goes through the children one by one and then does the calculation, the number of uh, donations or the amounts of donations. And then after it does the, the aggregate, then it takes it and puts it on the uh, account object in the uh, donor gift summary component or on some fields like the case for uh, gift designation let's look at uh, where these uh, components or fields are and then let's also look at how we can run this data processing engine uh, to update the uh, the data that we have the first one is the uh, donor level if we go to any donor if you remember we added the giving summary so this is where we can see things like uh, this year gifts this year amount current year uh, gift count and last year as well and data for lifetime and let's look at uh, campaign let's go to campaigns and open any of those campaigns we've got this uh, outreach summary we've got some information here there is also uh, some uh, stats down here as well and the last thing is the gift designation if we go to the gift designation page we have um, these stats uh, fields right here so, uh, such as like the total transaction amounts this is all the gifts uh, the all the amounts from the gift transactions that got designated to this now let's take one of them and uh, run a data processing engine and run it for only one of them is the same for all uh, is the same for the two others so what we do for uh, let, let's uh, grab the donor gift summary for example and uh, what we do here is the same you can just repeat it for the other two so that you can uh, make it run and calculate let's go to uh, accounts and create a new donor um, the ones that we have already got donations so i just want to have one that has like a couple let's create uh, omega and let's go to gift transactions and create one gift so let's say gift uh, from an individual donor um, let's say that's a 50 dollar that we received today or yesterday and then set this as paid by cash and save okay so we received um 50 dollar donation in 2024 now if if we go to gift summary it doesn't show that data because the data processing engine definition has not run yet we need to uh run it to run it we're gonna go to uh, uh the gear icon top right and then go to setup and we're gonna search for data processing engine data processing engine 
and we're gonna look for donor gift summary donor gift summary you might find two you might find one um uh when i started this trial we had two so we don't have to create a copy of any this one down here is the template you see like it has the template checkbox checked so we, we we are not using this one uh we just make a copy of it and we already got a copy uh, right out of the box up here so we're going to use this copy here we don't use the template if you don't have the copy then you can open this uh donor gift summary and then uh save as so you're going to open it and then you will have the option to save it as and then save a copy activate the copy and the copy is what we will be using so let's actually open the copy that we have out out of the box and if it's not activated you're going to want to activate this you don't have to worry about all of this uh, crm analytics uh, stuff i personally don't know much about all of this um but basically we know that it's going through the children records to calculate and then updates the data on the parent record and what we want to do now after we activate it is to run it so we're going to click run definition and then it's going to ask us for uh, some of the input uh, values for the current calendar year that's going to be the first day of the current calendar year so um let's go to january first so this is current ca calendar year and then uh last is 23 and then uh two years ago that's uh, 22 and the reason it's asking for this is because some of the data that it does calculate is to note like the number of donations this year the number of donations last year the number of donations two years ago uh, so it needs to know the years and let's run definition while this is loading um it gives us a success uh, message and uh, and this is like not a success of like it has completed calculations but rather like this process started this is what su this success means we can monitor this uh process if you want to you can just wait a minute and check if uh, if this uh, got updated or not but you could also monitor it by searching for monitor workflow services and this is where you can see the one that we just uh, ran um mpc donor gift summary it's currently in progress i can refresh this to see uh if it got updated i'll I'll pause this recording until this is complete or failed, and then I'll resume. Okay, um, it now updated to completed. It took about five minutes, uh, just so you know how much the time this is taken. And this time uh, will be different based on the number of records that you have in the system. Uh, if, if you've got more records and more data, then it's gonna take more time. Um, and another thing I want to call out before we get out of here is that when I first started running this, I was getting failed, um, even though, I mean, I, I was using the, the, the one that was like uh, a copy of the template without making any changes and it was failing. Um, I just needed to uh, turn off the data pipeline and then turn it back on. Uh, and just to do that, you can find data pipeline here and you click uh, getting started and then you just turn it off and then turn it back on uh, and, and then just start started working i wanted to call this out in case you're stumbling into this as well now let's go to um the our uh, our account the one where we had a donation of 50 and we should expect to see some data under giving summary now let's refresh this page Awesome. Now we see gifts this year amount is 50 and current year uh, gift count is 1. The total is 50 and the gift count is 1. So this is how to do this process manually. We will see how to do this automatically uh, uh, in, a, in, a few, in, in the next recording. Um, you can repeat the same steps for the other data processing engines for uh, outreach summary and gift designation as well.